And with that, I want to call to the stage our next brilliant in tech, Volta Green Tech. Frederick, welcome to the stage. It was really surprising to end up here. Um, Volta Green Tech sounds very big, and uh, let's go back. Oh, anyway, uh, Volta Green Tech sounds very big and serious, but we're actually just uh, a small number of young people working on something that we think is is uh, very important. And it says tech up there on the wall, but but I'm not here to talk about tech or AI or, or blockchain or anything like that. Uh, I want to talk about something else. Uh, I want to talk about cows, because cows generate 4% uh, of our global greenhouse gas emissions, and uh, that's two times more than the world's fleet of airplanes. And these 4%, that's just uh, cows farting and burping. It's, it's nothing else included. And I know it sounds insane, but there are 1.5 billion cows on the planet. And uh, Bill Gates, he, he recently said that if cattle were a country, they would rank third in greenhouse gas emissions. And what's more insane is that this is a source of emissions that have had no clear solutions. And we are on our way to uh, electrify the transport sector, and we, we, uh, we know how to produce green electricity, but we don't know how to handle the, the methane emissions from the cows. And to lower the consumption of meat and dairy products is good and an obvious solution, uh, but at scale, that transition in consumer behavior will take uh, more time than we have. And since a year back, I have been totally obsessed with this challenge. Uh, and at that time, I studied uh, electrical engineering, uh, and I thought I would start a software company, build an app, or most likely work at Norfolk and build batteries. Um, but six months ago, I, I dropped out to uh, build a company around making cows fart and burp less methane. <laughs> and. Uh, And uh, it was very surprising for me and my parents, of course. Uh, <laughs> and at Volta Green Tech, we're planning to do that by feeding the cows with seaweed. Um, what I have here in my hand is a tiny, tiny amount of a special type of seaweed called Aspargopsis taxiformis. And when this is fed to cows, their methane emissions are reduced by up to 80%. Yeah. Eighty percent, and and uh, this here is just one portion that each cow are supplemented each day. Um, and I know it sounds almost too good to be true, and and I did certainly not do this discovery. Uh, it builds on many years of research from from leading research universities in the U.S. and in Australia. And how it works in simple terms is that this seaweed's bioactive compounds. Uh, trigger a process in the cow's digestion system, uh, blocking the production of methane, and, and this without affecting the cow's health. And this is, uh, this is really crazy. So when I uh, learned about this research and its potential, I, I couldn't simply find anything that I think is more important for me to spend my time uh, doing and working on. So what I'm working on now is um, how do we get that out to... to uh, uh, out to cows uh, at scale. And together with uh, our team at Volta Green Tech and our investors and advisors that uh, all have come together to figure this out, uh, that's what we will do. Uh, we want to remove those 4%. Um, and there are two main parts to this challenge. Uh, first, we need to develop economical incentives for the farmers to use the feed supplement. Uh, and then we need to figure out how do we produce enough of the seaweed to, uh, to get it out to all the cows in the world. Um, and we are making uh, good progress on both these parts, uh, but I have to say that it's, uh, reducing methane emissions from cows is a fairly complex uh, challenge. And, um, but, but we are still sure that we will figure things out and we will get it out to, 
cows and, and reduce emissions. Um, but the more people that get involved, uh, the sooner we can make something uh, really impactful. So if anyone uh, wants to help me and, and my team to make cows fart and burp less methane, um, please let me know. <laughs>